A variable pitch propeller is one where you can change the propeller pitch manually in flight. The pitch can either be changed to set points like a car gearbox or at any pitch depending on the aircraft. Using variable pitch propellers is like selecting between fixed pitch propellers, meaning you're swapping between fine and coarse pitch mid-flight. And since it acts like a fixed pitch propeller, you're actually managing your RPM via the pitch and throttle as airspeed changes to keep yourself in the power band. Now we'll go in game to illustrate this concept. Here I've set it up with a 109, we've put it onto manual pitch control. And what we're going to do is we're going to see how the blade angle changes according to how propeller pitch changes. Right now the pitch is at its highest, or course setting, as you can see on the dial indicating 830. Now as I start decreasing pitch, you can see the blade angle decrease, meaning that the pitch is becoming more fine. As the pitch becomes more fine, it bites less and less air to allow the prop to turn faster and increase RPM. However, this can't go on forever. At a point we hit the fine pitch stop, and this is where the propeller pitch won't decrease anymore. When we're at this point, we can only increase RPM further by increasing airspeed and throttle. Now I'll change propeller pitch from the fine stop to the coarse stop and look at how it works in reverse. Now as the clock face is moving towards 8.30, this means the pitch is increasing, so the blade angle is increasing. This increases how much air the propeller bites, and this will lower the RPM. When flying aircraft like the 109, you can adjust the pitch anywhere over the entire range, but some aircraft can only choose certain points. In perspective, this means that an aircraft might only be able to choose between 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock instead of the entire range. Now we're airborne in the 109 and we'll go through these principles in practice. So I'm going to leave the throttle steady at 1.2 atmosphere and I'm going to turn off automatic pitch control. Now I'm going to do some maneuvering and try and keep the engine at 25 to 2600 RPM. So sticking it in the climb, the airspeed will drop and so will the RPM. So you decrease propeller pitch to a fine setting and you'll note the RPM starts increasing. The clock face is at 10.45 right now. Now if I was to roll over and start increasing my airspeed, I'm going to have to adjust propeller pitch again. Airspeed increases, my RPM will start increasing, so I have to make the pitch more coarse in order to keep the RPM at 25 and 2600. It's not just climbs and dives where you'll be managing RPM via prop pitch. You also have to manage it in a turn especially if it's a turn that's going to bleed off a lot of airspeed, as I'll show now. Initiating a turn to the right, I'm going to apply a fair bit of back pressure and decrease my airspeed. And you see, you'll have to manage the propeller pitch during a turn like this as your airspeed falls, because this way you give yourself the correct amount of thrust to maintain the turn. And if you don't do so, you'll end up falling out of the turn a lot faster than you expect. That's the video covering variable pitch propellers. If you liked it and you want to see more, hit subscribe in the top left corner and let me know in the comments below.